leaves us behind the truth is that we recognize that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And a turn in the verb doesn't mean it's the end unless we fail to make the turn. How many people have go are going on the trip today? Today is 48. We had to turn around a 20, 25 between Greenville and Spartanburg. And then Clemson has a wait too, so we're trying to make sure we keep a bus. The seats were like at least four or five of them. Clemson. Tell me about the t-shirts. The t-shirts, Free Gina, the Spartanburg Grant, NAACP. We have the black for the morning part of it, and we also have the rainbow color. The rainbow color is meaning that at the end of a rainbow, there's a pot of gold. So the multicolors are for the rainbow. The black is for the moaning of racial hate that we have here in America that's still alive and well. I'm coming on the trip because um, I think it's a time to uh, rekindle um, the movement. I'm from the movement of old and new. Um, I'm an old warrior. Um, I've been there almost in the, at all the marches, all the way back to the March on Washington in, in uh, 63. Um, I participated in the Civil Rights Movement. My dad was a leader in the Orangeburg, South Carolina. I've been to jail many a times, um, about 62, as a matter of fact. And, um, I just see a need. Um, not just on this trip, but we could go across town. Um, well, I mean, it's a gene in every town um, in America. It's not just Gina, Louisiana. It's Gina, uh, Spartanburg High. Gina, Spartanburg. Gina, whatever city you may be in. It could be a high hidden gene. Um, so that's why I say we could have gone across town. So why did you decide to come to the trip? Because um, it was something like it was it's a historic event or whatever and we only get one opportunity to be a part of something like that and it's for a great cause. You know, like it was this I've heard about Gina for like maybe a month now, two months and it's just getting out and they're just trying to do something about a wrongful charge, you know, a wrongful thing. So to be a part of the movement. <laughs> um, I heard it on the news, and the reason I came today is because I have a 10 year old grandson, and it's unfair, and the struggle continues. 2007, we were in Iraq trying to get equality, and we don't have equality here for our people, so I came for support. Things, I know things need to be further uh, implemented and, and the further change needs to come about, but we need to awaken our, our youth um, at, in particular, but not only the youth, but the, the parents. We have to do some work with, with parenting, and uh, but we have to save this generation. Too many kids are dropping out, too many kids are going to jail, too many kids are going to, uh, to the grave, and we would like to turn that around, and that's why I'm here to continue uh, what I've been doing for almost 50 years and uh, loving it every, every minute of it.